Hey everyone, welcome back to Get Cougared. My name is Mitch Cougar, of course, and you know what time it is. It's time for Coog's Reviews! Alrighty, so another big week of movies. Guys, we did another round robin elimination and it ended up being Crazy Rich Asians versus Mile 22 and drum roll please. I don't have any drum sound effects, so we're just gonna have to do with this. Crazy Rich Asians came out on top, and I gotta tell you, it was probably the one I wanted to pick because I was in the mood for a comedy, and I really liked the concept of the movie. So, let's just get right into it. I thought it was a really good movie. You know, people are raving about it. People are raving about how good it is. And when I watched it, I almost came out thinking, why are people raving about it? Unsure, no. But I will say this, I thought it was very good. It was beautiful, the, the, the colors and the, the scenery and all of the places they went, you know, I thought the film was visually incredible. I thought the acting was fantastic. I thought everything about the movie was great, but I didn't think it was amazing because, you know, the story is about a girl who is with a guy and then she finds out he's super rich and then his mother doesn't ex accept her and she has to like fight her way into being with him sort of situation. I'm just like, okay, it's the oldest story in the book, you know. It, it kind of felt like Memoirs of a Geisha meets, you know, insert generic romance movie here. Do you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't the most original idea. However, the way it became original was it was about Asians, crazy rich Asians. And the fact of the matter is, People who aren't aware of Asian culture and tradition and background can watch this movie and really delve into it a little bit. Um, so I thought it was really, really good. Even though I'm saying it wasn't amazing, it does not mean it was bad. I thought it was a very good film. Um, but you know, I like to review movies and tell you why you should go and see them, why they're exciting and entertaining. And to me, this was just a really nice movie. Um, yeah, I just, I can't rave about it because there wasn't too much memorable to, about it. And I thought it was going to be funnier. I actually was prepared for it to be hilarious and it just wasn't that funny. But there were funny actors and actresses because, and they made it funny. But it was probably more to do with them rather than the writing. Do you know what I mean? So what I loved about the movie, I will give you those points, is there was this wedding scene and it was everything, literally everything. I was like blown away, I had a little tear in my, in my eye because I thought it was beautiful. I was just like, oh my God, I wish I was a woman just so I could get married like this. But anyway, and the other thing was the, oh my God, I'm drawing a blank, hang on. Oh my God, this is where you play like the Jeopardy music. I can't remember. But see what I mean? Like, it's not overly memorable, in my opinion. Um, I just can't give you a lot of positives, but I don't have any negatives other than the fact... Oh my god, I remembered, I remembered. You can see how this would be a great read. Obviously it is based on best-selling novel of the same name, Crazy Rich Asians, and I was watching it and I thought the writing was brilliant. And I could see that translating into a book and it being incredible. So um, read the book. I, I, would, I would advise everyone to read the book because I think that would be a really good read. Um, so yeah, um, Crazy Rich Asians, I'm going to give it three out of five stars because like I said, it wasn't amazing, but it wasn't bad. It was really, really nice to watch. Um, so yeah, three out of five stars for me and Aquafina and Ken Jong were hilarious and they were the standouts for me, but yeah, let's put that aside. Um, alrighty, this will be Mitch Cougar signing off for another Coogs review and don't forget to subscribe to all of my social media, Facebook, Get Coo Good, Snapchat, Mitch Cougar, one word, and my Instagram, Coo's Reviews with Disease. All right, you guys have a good day. See you later. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's time for Coo's Reviews.